assalamu alaikum guys how are you my name is engineer muhammad wasim and uh, i am recording a new video related to the cst studio suit in this video i will tell you how to design an ultra wideband patch antenna and uh, after designing the ultra wideband patch antenna how to insert an uh, u-shape uh, inverted u-shape uh, notch in it in order to design a, a WLAN uh, antenna. Now moving toward the CST studio, uh, I design actually this type of the antenna. Uh, this antenna uh, is actually a ultra wideband antenna with notching at a frequency of 5.5 to 5.7 gigahertz, which is the frequency of uh, uh, WiMAX, uh, sorry, uh, WLAN band uh, now moving toward the design in the design first of all uh, i will show you the substrate the substrate actually consists of a brick with having this type of uh, specifications uh, this is the specification of a substrate with having minus w to w minus l toward uh, plus l and uh, w minimum is empty MT is 0.018 and H is the height of the substrate. Now the material chosen is the Roger RT5880 lossy and the ground plan is designed by uh, making the extrude function uh, or you can also design separately because in the ultra wideband antenna uh, you have to make the ground plan half like as this is the ground plan which is look as minus w to uh, plus w which is the u minimum and u maximum which is from this side and from this side and v maximum is the length of the ground which is in our direction of v maximum this is the length of the ground now it is l g in order to make a simple patch antenna as a ultra wideband antenna you have to make the ground plan shorter as compared to the substrate as you saw in the figure however these two slots like this cut and also this slit in the ground plan is actually in order to improve the result of ultra wide band now moving toward the uh, antenna and in the antenna uh, this is the main summations of the bricks in the brick we have a first uh, brick which is the uh, inset feed line this is the uh, parameter that i chosen that is minus wf by 2 to wf by 2 as you saw in this diagram in this uh, part this is the portion of brick in the first part we have to design a patch ultra wide one patch antenna now this after this uh, this is the first uh, part of the patch like that this is actually the double rectangular patch antenna uh, with having an ultra wide band characteristics now the u minimum is minus wp1 by 2 wp1 by 2 lp1 and minus mt all these parameter i will show you in the parametric list and you can also saw here and make the practice according to these parameters now this is the second part of the patch antenna which is at this is the first rectangular this is the second rectangular this is larger rectangular it means we have uh, this type of formula that i make minus wp2 minus wp1 by 2 and this this is these are the parameter actually you should choose these in order to make this type of patch antenna now i cancel it after uh, making this we have uh, add and make a simple patch antenna after making a patch antenna with ultra wideband characteristics now we have stepped toward the by introducing a notch now in the notch we have an inverted u-shaped notch this is the first part this is the second part this is the third part i will show you how it is designed this is the first notch line this line is this horizontal line these are the parameter minus a1 by 2 a1 by 2 minus wc10 up to 0 up to minus 
empty you have to design like that parameters in the second we have this type of uh, parameters these parameters are these parameters which is minus wc1 0 minus a2 0 and 0 up to minus empty and the material is a copper annealed this is the second part and the finally the third part which is actually the uh, right side first we have a this side then this side then this side at the end we have to uh, add this is the parameter wc1 minus a2 0 up 0 up to minus empty now the final thing is the smaller position of the notch which is this make as this this is the smaller position with having 0 up to a3 minus wc1 0 up to minus mt and uh, the final point is this this is from this side minus a3 0 minus wc1 0 0 minus mt after the adding all the notches and after adding all the notches means all the breaks you have to subtract the uh, original patch from this uh, notch brick that you created and you ultimately get a uh, inverted u-shaped notch here now uh, after go before going toward the result uh, we have to first study what are the parameters uh, these are actually the parameter a1 a2 and a3 these are the values of the notches uh, length or width h is the height l is the length of substrate lb cut is the back cut which i introduced in the ground plan lf is the length of feed line lg is the ground plan lp1 is the length of first patch lp2 is the length of second patch ls is the length of the slit which is which i introduced in the background this which is uh, in a, a dim shows in the ground plan now mt is 0.018 is the thickness of the substrate w is the width of the substrate this is the wc1 is actually uh, the notch width that is 0.5 w cut is the back cut width that is 3.5 wf is the width of feed line that is 3.850 and wg that is equal to the width of the ground WP1 is the width of first patch that is 14. WP2 is the length of the second patch which is 4.437. WS is the width of slit or slot that is 0.5. These are actually the parameter that I slowly show so that you can copy and make your own uh, patch antenna with ultra wide bending characteristic and also with a inverted U shape structure inside the antenna element now moving toward the s parameter we have this is the s parameter result of the ultra wide band uh, wlan antenna now it is clearly shown that the antenna have a good response or the return loss from 3.1 to 10.6 because the ultra wide band usually lies between 3.1 to 3.1 is here and 10.6 is here okay this is the ultra wideband characteristics now I actually introduce an innovated u-shape notch inside it and as a result after the several iteration I get that the frequency the notch is WLAN which is located here at that point 5.69 the return loss is a minimum it means that the frequency is notch are rejected in this frequency range which is actually the frequency band of the WLAN which is 5.5 up to 5.8 uh, gigahertz now this antenna which i show in front of you is actually a wlan ultra wideband antenna you can use there are several applications for that hopefully uh, you can understand how it is designed 
uh, actually you have a full grip over the CST by practicing daily on this software I actually shows you the basic uh, things that how to design it what are the form formulas uh, what are the design parameters uh, hopefully you understand in this video at the end all of you it is requested to you that kindly subscribe my channel uh, in order to learn more and more related to the cst studio and also designing a different antenna in the next video inshallah i will bring same ultra wideband patch antenna with a dual band notch like a ymax and a, a wlan antenna now uh, i say goodbye to you